Hi, it's Counting Sheep, and I'm going to play with some simple kitchen gadgets tonight. Um, starting with this little egg chopper or slicer, and um, you can see it has slots in it. There's this wire. And the wires are aligned up with the slot so that they'll slice the egg right through it. You can just do it straight or you can then turn them and chop the egg slicing it. And um, it's helpful sometimes if you want to slice olives. And I also use it sometimes to slice butter if the butter is cold. You can use it as a butter slicer. It's really a similar concept. You can either just push it right down on the butter or you can put the little cube of butter in there and slice it. So I'll play with that for a minute, okay? the Faber, Farberware, I guess it's Farberware, you used to always say that wrong, egg slicer. And then I've got super simple stuff for the rest of it. That's the most gadgety. And then I just have a wire whisk, but it makes some nice sounds. I like, to, I always have to have a wire whisk handy because I use it for everything. A lot of people use forks to blend their eggs or chop uh, their bananas and that sort of thing. And I, um, if it's a banana, I usually will use a fork. But once I make those little banana pancakes I think I posted, I usually whip them up with the whisk. And this is the size I like. Some people like the large size. This one has a rubber handle, which makes it very easy, oops, sorry, to clean. But it doesn't make a lot of noise, does it? And then uh, this size is perfect. I don't like them too small, and I don't like the great big ones. For some reason, I feel like this size, I can just do about anything I need to with it. I'm hoping you can hear some of those gentle sounds of the springing metal. I do love kitchen stuff, and um, on my adventures, I have not been able to cook as much because of um, traveling and being in little cabins and with little kitchenettes and that sort of thing. But I do love to cook and bake when I'm in my own space. All right, so there's that. And then I've got just, I did a water bottle and a styrofoam cup. Try to save these if I end up at a restaurant or a fast food place where this is the only option because styrofoam is a, not great on the environment we will utilize it for its sounds tonight. <laughs> it has plenty of texture. I'll put that where you can see. 
I'm going to try to keep my hands real slow. You can see there are some scratch marks or teeth marks up around the rim. Maybe you can't see that, I don't know. through the roof, I just, I don't know, it's a sound that I just have a hard time tolerating. one of those real lightweight plastic bottles. And I do like the sound of these kind of like crinkling sounds. Those really are good triggers for me. And these lightweight ones seem to be easier to create noises with and they're supposed to be, you know, they break down a little easier as far as the dumps but uh, water bottles. These should all just be illegal. <laughs> if we all just had regular water bottles, it would be great. These are left over from a family. We had a family reunion the other night, and um, there were just so many water bottles left around. And uh, I brought this one home, but most of them were half full because people forget which one are theirs. And, which ones are theirs, and so, anyway, I at least dumped out all the water from all of them, but we were at a park and there was no recycling, unfortunately. sounds that we can get out of this water bottle. So maybe what we can do is if you have great uses for water bottles to reuse them maybe you can post your ideas down below so that people can think of ways to save them if they're going to use them.
the mic be too loud. All right, that's it. I hope you have a wonderful night's sleep. I'm going to try and get a guided meditation on next time so that uh, you can use one of those to help you relax. I try to change up what I do. Everybody has different preferences, and they'll tell me their preferences. But um, what I try to do is just change it up knowing that everybody has a favorite thing or favorite role play and I try to just make sure I cycle through every once in a while something different for everyone's different tastes. Okay, have a good night. See you again. <laughs>